Hey everyone, it's Jojo, and today I'm finally unboxing my Kotobukiya Marvel Bishouju statue of Psylocke in her X-Force Ninja outfit. I've had this for months, and I haven't been able to get around to unboxing it, but now I can. Don't ask me why I waited so long. Alright, but anyway, Bishouju translates to Pretty Girl, and this definitely is a beautiful looking statue. Here is the front side of the box, it's displayed in this really nice window display right here. Here is the side showing a really nice graphic of Psylocke. Not too much going on on this side, kind of the same graphic. And here is the back of the box showing a really nice display of Psylocke and a nice display of her backside. And here down at the bottom showing a little bio of Psylocke. You could pause it to read it, although I think the lettering might be a little too small. And here on the left is another available statue, Kitty Pride. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's get to unboxing. And here is the Psylocke statue out of the box. And this is a very gorgeous statue. I just want to give you guys a full front view of this statue right here. Really awesome. They really put her in a really cool and sexy stance. This is her katana blade that she is holding up. And she even has some paint apps on her fingernails which is uh, pretty cool, really detailed with the paint. Here's down her arm, you can even see some wrinkles in her armband, same goes right there. You can see how uh, much detail they put in the armbands. It's wrinkled and her skin is kind of like poking out of it, just to show you how tight it is around her. And she has a really beautiful face, really nice detail. Uh, love her eyes, love her makeup, um, her lips, they even put lipstick on her. Love her hair as well. Really cool. It starts off like a really dark black or a dark purple and it goes into this translucent purple down at the tips. Really awesome looking. And yeah, those are awesome looking as well. And you can even see some musculature right here under her arm, some creases in her shirt, and she has this uh, sash that's kind of flowing uh, in the wind, kind of gives you the illusion of movement. Um, here are her legs. Same thing, same effect with her skin kind of um, poking through, just to show you how tight the bands are, and even some wrinkles on her feet as well. She is attached to this stand, which looks like um, like a Japanese shrine. Really good t details on this stand as well. Nice paint apps, really mossy, kind of snowy look to it. Here's her other hand with the same fingernail paint on. And I like how her leg kind of goes off of the stand and onto whatever surface you decide to put her on. Here is the back side of Psylocke and she has really good musculature on her back. You can see it on her skin and even through her suit. The wrinkles in her suit show off her musculature and there is her, sh her sheath for her katana and there, yeah, that ass. From the bottom and all the way to the top of the sword she stands about 8 inches and she is also a little past 8 inches wide. A couple things I forgot to mention earlier that the sash is made out of these uh, flexible plastics so they don't break in case you run into them or you drop it for some reason. Also her hair is a little flexible but not as much as this so that's a really cool uh, touch on the figure or excuse me the statue. I really love the paint nice glossy like latex suit looking and it's just overall a gorgeous statue. Psylocke is one of my favorite Marvel characters and this is a must-have for any X-Men fan or any toy collector. If you're into Kotobukiya Basoju statues, this is a must-have. She is so gorgeous, beautiful, sexy, and it's just awesome. Psylocke is an Asian woman with a British accent and who doesn't love that? So that is about it for my unboxing and review of Kotobukiya's Marvel Basoju statue of Psylocke in her X-Force ninja outfit. If there's anything you'd like to add to this review, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I appreciate any feedback. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with more. See you soon.